just take a look at the map back there. You take a loose sense of the structure of city council, right? So Toronto is divided into equally populated neighborhoods. That's the idea. Everybody should have about the same number of people in the wards so that we have the same amount of representation, right? One person from these neighborhoods gets elected. Now, last, last election in my ward, there were seven candidates. My parents split up, and my mom moved to North Toronto. My dad stayed in, in, uh, in, in downtown, and I sort of... Uh, to rec centers uh, in, in parks, to cutting the grass in parks, to cleaning your streets, and all that jazz. Any questions about overall stuff? We want to get to transit. Go ahead. Um, for the transit, I just want to know, you know how they were making new streetcars and they were making the new, um... So basically, we just left council chambers, we talked to Mike Layton. What did you think, John Luca? That he was a really intelligent man. It was really interesting, we're going to see the rest of City Hall now. I'm going to fall. Right now we're at the subway station, we're making our way down, we're going to Cabbage Town, we're going to do a walking tour there. We had an exciting morning and an exciting lunch and everyone's super excited about Yay! So right beside there at Riverdale Park, we just came back from the oldest cemetery in Toronto. We stopped and we saw Jack Layton's grave, which was actually really emotional. We saw the sculpture that his wife made. We also saw the grave of William Lyon Mackenzie. And we also saw the graves of people who were hung, um, basically to fight for the fair system of government that we have. So it was really interesting, a lot of history in that place. And right now we're back at the park and we're making maps of the areas that we're from.